If I ever see you again, don't give me any more of those drugs. Thank you very much. I did. I wrote three letters to three doctors. Hey everyone, get ready to walk the line as we take a look at the amazing properties owned by the legendary Johnny Cash. From his rural California escape to his sprawling Tennessee estate, Johnny created some incredible sanctuaries that gave him the peace and privacy a star like him deserved. Though the singer went through ups and downs in his personal life, his homes always gave him a place to retreat and write his iconic country song. Before we dive in with his California home and Tennessee mansion, let's go over the life of Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash was born in Kingsland, Arkansas back in 1932 and spent his early childhood in the tiny rural town of Dias. His family lived in government-built housing as a part of an agricultural resettlement community during the Great Depression. The Cash family worked long days in the cotton fields just trying to get by. When Johnny was just 12 years old, he was out working and singing along with the other laborers. This is where his love for music was born. And the rest? is history. He went on to become one of the most influential artists ever. Cash joined the Air Force in 1950 and ended up stationed in Germany where he bought his very first guitar and wrote early songs like Folsom Prison Blues during his free time on bass. Cash worked odd jobs as a door-to-door -door appliance salesman, an auto factory worker, but he spent his nights playing with guitarist Luther Perkins and bass player Marshall Grant at Tennessee too. The trio landed a record deal with Sun Records in 1955 and rocketed to stardom once the world heard Cash's distinctive baritone voice and style of mixing country, rock, folk, and gospel roots. He scored number one hits on the country charts like I Walk the Line, There You Go, and Ballad of a Teenage queen through the late 50s. This established Cash as Nashville's hottest new star, but he was just getting started. In 1956, Johnny had his first number one hits on the Billboard charts with his song, I Walk the Line. In an old interview, Cash recounted writing the song for Vivian Liberto in Gladewater, Texas during his first marriage. As he said at the time, I'd recently gotten married and I imagined I was telling my promise of affection. Though Cash's most famous marriage was to June Carter, this song was written to whom he shared a California home with until their divorce in 1966. With over 4,500 square feet of rustic living space, it's easy to see why Johnny chose to build this retreat as his California escape. It overlooks Casita Springs in a secluded location where Cash, Liberto, and their daughters could find peace and privacy. Can you also imagine him hosting jam sessions on the hillside while the townspeople listened down below? Many of the cash specific details remain, including the primary bedroom full of country motifs and a curved brick fireplace, custom wood interiors, and an original turntable mounted on the wall. The home also features a second primary suite for Liberto, as Cash reportedly stayed up much later working on his music. Other lingering remnants of the songwriting legend include a wood paneled study, where Cash reportedly wrote some of his greatest hits. Outside the property boasts a swimming pool, barbecue area, and expansive views of the Ojai Valley. Following Cash and Liberto's divorce in 1960, 66, she remained in the house until eventually selling it in the early 70s. The current owners put the home on the market for $1.795 million, and the property recently sold to a fan for $1.85 million, $55,000 over asking. The home has so much original character from the textured wood walls to the built-in turntable. And how awesome is that curved fireplace in the living room? Vintage details like that really give this place an authentic homey vibe. Even though Johnny and Vivian divorced shortly after completing the home, it clearly made an impression on its country music owner. Definitely a special part of music history. All right, next, let's head to the sprawling Tennessee estate Johnny shared with June Carter Cash. Johnny first met June Carter backstage at the Grand Ole Opry in 1956, but it took over a decade for their friendship to turn romantic. They recorded duets together and toured on the road where June witnessed Johnny's substance abuse issues firsthand. She supported him as a friend and became his rock during rehab, helping Johnny finally get clean in 1968. He'd later say June saved his life in more ways than one. Johnny proposed to her live on stage that year. 
year. After marrying June Carter in 1968, Johnny Cash purchased a stunning property in Hendersonville, Tennessee, where the couple would spend over 30 blissful years together. The lakefront estate was certainly fit for music royalty, spanning 14,000 square feet on 4.5 acres of land. With its amazing views of Old Hickory Lake and room to accommodate their blended family, this Hendersonville mansion became the backdrop for countless memories until Johnny and June's passing in 2003. According to Johnny's son, John Carter Cash, his dad bought the rural land along Old Hickory Lake back in 1966, before he and June were even married. Though it took a couple years to complete, once it was built in 1968, the impressive mansion featured 14,000 square feet of living space, ready to accommodate their new family. June's daughter from her previous marriage, as well as Johnny's children from his marriage to Vivian, would all come to reside here part-time. The property itself boasted over a thousand feet of pristine lake frontage and was surrounded by lush trees, offering complete privacy. And beyond just the home's beautiful setting, Johnny and June filled the interior with special touches too. Sadly, much of their personal sanctuary was lost when the home tragically burnt down during renovations in 2007 after it was purchased by Barry Gibb. Though the grounds still boast remnants like the swimming pool, boat dock, and tennis courts, the main home had to be rebuilt from the ground up. After being listed a few times since, the 4.5 acre lot finally sold again in 2020 for $3.2 million to a local couple who saw it as historically and musically significant. And even decades after Johnny and June have passed, it sounds like this fan plans to honor their legacy on the land. All right, friends, that wraps up our tour of the amazing homes of Johnny Cash. It was so cool getting to walk through these beautiful time capsules from different chapters of his life. Before we go, answer this question for me. Out of his California escape in Tennessee Paradise home, which do you think showcased Johnny's personality best? To me, that's a no-brainer. It's definitely his Tennessee home. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!